G'day, Big Ted here. Today we're going to do an oil change on the BMW F850 GSA. I believe it's exactly the same process for his 750 GS and GSA. So let's get into it. So here's the gear you'll need. Three litres of oil. Um, oil filter. A removal tool for the BMW... Um, oil filter, um, a 5 mil hex head to remove the inner um, sump nut, a T50 Torx bit to remove the OEM sump plug. Um, I've actually changed mine out. Uh, I don't use the, um, the one that came with the bike. I've actually changed it to a steel plug that uses a, um, a 12 mil um, it's a 12 mil nut. Need a torque wrench, some foil. Um, some people use the foil to put around the catalytic converter so it doesn't get oil on it, but I don't worry about it. Um, we'll get to that later. And a bucket. First thing you need to do is get this the right way. That's the left is out. Anyway. like a boss. There we go. <clears throat> you can take the bash plate off if you want first, but oh, it doesn't worry me. I'll um, hit it all with degreaser and clean it up before I put the sump plug back in. So in your bike, you will have a, um, a little aluminium um, sump nut or sump plug. That'll take a T, a Torx bit to undo it. Um, the clowns at um, the service centre here in Newcastle stripped mine, so um, I took me a great deal of effort to get it out, so I just changed to a standard steel um, sump plug, which is, in my opinion, much better. So don't be fooled, there's another sump nut up inside the motor not very far just inside the um, opening and it take it just takes a five mil hex bit and it holds another couple of hundred mils of oil in there so let's get that up there there we is That one. Oh, drop that. There it is there. Okay. 
So here's that second sump nut. As you can see, the griller at the service centre swung off it when he stripped my sump, the main sump nut, sump nut. He's damaged this one as well, so I'll need to get that replaced before I um, fit this again. But that's why I like to do all the services myself and actually do things up to torque specifications. But, um, so I'll let that drain now uh, for a little while and we'll um, remove the oil. Like I said, I normally don't worry about this, but um, take your foil and you feed it under this oil filter and wrap it round. It will keep the oil off the catalytic converter. But like I said, I also keep a magnet on there too. Like I said, I don't. It's, it doesn't worry me that much spilling the oil everywhere because I clean it all up anyway. Put the cover on because I did this up, it won't be very tight at all. Let's get that moving. And that is the oil filter. Put that down there to drain and I'll let all that drain in. And that's the oil filter done. Okay, I've left this overnight to drain. Now we'll get it all um, all the bits and pieces torqued back up on it and we'll get it filled with oil. Let's have a look at this. So got my torque wrench. I'm using a KN um, KN160 filter. Um, and I plug that a bit of paper just to keep it clean overnight let's um let's go okay so the oil filter goes on at 11 newton meters so a tiny bit of oil around this rubber seal spin it on now if you haven't got a torque wrench 11 newton meters is not very much at all. So, you'll see here, that's really light. There you go, that's, and that's only just past, you know, finger tight. So that, I'll put my magnet back on there, for whatever reason, just to pick up any loose particles. Now to the sump nuts. Okay, now for the internal sump nut. It only requires 10 newton meters, which is very, very loose. Well, not tight at all. So. Right. Torque wrench is set. That's all she needs. Now, sump nut is 25 newton meters, and again, I've got a steel um, hex head sump nut. Really don't like those aluminium ones. Again, don't want to cross thread it. I don't think 25 newton meters is pretty excessive myself. They don't need to be done that tight, but so I've got this at about 22. And 
we go. There we go. Done. Give this a bit of a clean up. I will high pressure ho I will um, degrease it and clean it up once the job is done. So now we can put some oil in this bad boy. Right, so you'll see me putting in three pints, but I have topped these pint bottles up with an extra 50 ml of oil or so to make it an even litre each. So it does take exactly three litres. Um, that's all she needs with a new filter. So let's go. Probably should use a uh, funnel, but I like living on the edge. That's one. Uh, yeah, this is two. It's very easy to do this yourself. I don't know why you'd pay anyone to do it, unless it's part of a major service for warranty reasons. But Even then, it's two. This is three. Oops, bit of a mess. It's okay. I'm going to degrease all this and clean the chain because I'm about to go on a big ride. So, it's no indication yet. We're going to start it up. That'll be good. Now, what I do, just for checks and balances. I will tip this used oil back into these three containers. And that's three, perfect, because there was a little bit in the oil filter, of course. So, what went out has gone back in, so that I'm fairly confident that will be first perfect. Let this drain. Okay. As per the manual, let it heat up until the thermo fan kicked in. That was at 100 degrees Celsius. Now we'll check the oil. With it's got exactly three liters of oil in it. Okay, so I've left that long enough just to grab Australia's finest mega swill. You've got to have a beer when you do this stuff. Now let's see what this is. So I've let it sit for a couple of minutes on the center stand, wipe that nice and clean, beautiful, I've degreased the chain and the bash plate cleaned it all up so let's have a look at this, don't screw it in, that is perfect, as you can see that's there, so don't even need to check that really. Three litres. 
Yep, there. Perfect. So that's how I do it. It's probably not the textbook way, but it works, it's easy, it's simple. Everyone should be able to do it. And um, enjoy. Probably the only thing that I would say is um, if you've had some monkey at a workshop swinging off those aluminium sump nuts, the external and the internal, uh, there's a fair chance if they've done them tight, any tighter than um, 25 and 10 newton meters, or whatever it was, um, if you there's any junk inside that, um, especially the external sump nut, uh, if there's any dirt or something in there and you don't get that um, T45 Torx bit right up inside it and you put any pressure on that, you'll strip it. So um, I just changed mine out to a steel um, sump nut and it's fine. And just be super careful with the internal one. And yeah, just that eight Newton meters, I think it was. And, uh, but I'll put all the talks, all the talk specs are at the beginning of the, of the video. So enjoy. I'm off on a big trip now, so I'll um, continue making these when I get back. Next one, I'll be changing the chain and sprockets. Um, yeah, well, every, as I as I do stuff, I'll post it. Thanks for watching. Um, please like it and subscribe.